Ooh. What's up, everybody? My name is OMG WTF LOL FTWBRB. Welcome back to more of the Local to Global series. Here we are booking back in the old territory days in the 1970s. In year two of our created company, the IWC, the International Wrestling Corporation, or as we like to call it right now, since we are very local, the uh, International Walmart Corporation, because uh, that's pretty much where our shows are held, or in the Walmart parking lots right now. Either way, though, like I mentioned, it is our third year as a company. We started up in 1970. We got a big show uh, planned here for you tonight. You guys got a little bit of a spoiler there on the match card, but... Whatever. It's the content that matters, right? Uh, nonetheless, let's just go ahead and start off the show. No time to waste here. I'm kind of excited for this one. I, I think I think this is going to be one of our better shows, even though we are spending quite a lot of money on this one. I think it's over four grand, and we're only being held in front of 97 people, so that's like $970, so great. Anyway... 42 solid D rating to open us up here tonight as Origins opens up with Victor Jovica making his way down to the ring for our opening match of the night. Out next is our, or out next is his opponent, I should say. One half of the tag team known as Evil Incarnate, Karol Von Schotz. But of course, before the match begins, Von Schotz and Baron Von Heisinger make their way towards the interview area. So uh, let's go down to there. Settle down, settle down. The future regional champion is speaking. Now listen here, Dino Bravo. Your fighting spirit will be your downfall. Because your insistency to be a defending champion will lead to the end of your short reign. And as, you know, the regional champion, as the Baron, Baron von Heisinger will rule over the IWC with the Iron Feast. Uh, Baron Heisinger, very confident as he heads into the regional championship match later on here tonight. Dino Bravo promising to be a defending champion, defending that at every show, once a month, as long as he's champion. But that's not about the championship. We have our opening match, Karl von Schatz versus Victor Jovica. 30 E plus rating and about that had a decent reaction from the crowd but subpar wrestling to it. Carl Von Schatz defeats Victor Jovica in 9 minutes 55 seconds by submission. Unfortunately Von Schatz was really off his game here tonight and apparently him and Baron Von Heisinger do not work together when Baron is managing him so oof. This did get the crowd hotter though. Carl Von Schatz had an in-ring performance of a 33. Jovica with a 21. And we do have a couple of things here I want to go over with the notepad. Uh, some things that kind of I should have gone over last time. And um, stuff that happened this time around as well. So Ripper Savage is apparently on the rise, which is awesome because Ripper Savage is our guy. Miss Sherry is pregnant and will be gone. I believe now it will be two months since I wrote this in the past. And then here's kind of stuff that happened in the locker room before we had this show. So Victor Jovica almost got in a fight with Ripper Savage after causing some damage to his rental card. We uh, find Jovica because, of course, well, you gotta you gotta pay for that, bro. And uh, well, Victor was not happy with us, but Ripper was happy. So, sure. Jim Alexi has heat for his selfish attitude backstage. We gave him a slap on the wrist, but nothing happened out of that. And Alexis Smirnoff was brought to wrestler court for not shaking hands. Nothing happened out of that as well. All right. Any worker improvements? Carl Von Schatz improving in his performance. You love to see it. And then a 35 E plus rating as uh, Von, Sch Von Schatz refuses to let go of the sleeper hold as he puts Victor Jovica to sleep. And then, of course, uh, he just kind of stands tall. Just a little basics and stuff here. Nothing special. Just kind of putting Von Schatz over a little more. 35 E plus rating. As Ripper Savage and the Marvelous Morocco stand in the ring for our next matchup as George Holtz waits the arrival of his tag team partner for the night, Austin Idol. 
Out comes Austin Idol, and he walks over to the interview stand with a big smile on his face before joining his partner. Hey, hey, Ripper baby, where's Miss Sherry? You know, I bet you don't know. I bet you haven't heard from her in a couple of weeks. Maybe since the last show. <laughs> I'll let you in on a little secret, Rip. You won't be seeing Sherry baby for a little while here. Give it a take, um... Nine months? <laughs> hey, what can I say? They get a whiff of Austin Idol, baby, and they just can't resist. Morocco now trying to hold Ripper back. Ripper is none too happy with the words that Austin Idol is saying right now. Easy there, big fella. No need to scream. I'm coming, I'm coming. Is what Sherry Baby said. Oh! And then Austin Idol makes his way... Oh, no, he doesn't. Ripper's going to run out and go right after Austin Idol. And they're going to run around the ring here. Ripper slides in after Idol. And the ref rings the bell as Austin Idol gets the jump. And this match is underway. Austin Idol having some kind of harsh words there. I mean, Ripper Savage, of course, is well known to be kind of uh, the manager. You know, uh, what, what would you call it? The associate. Miss Sherry is Ripper Savage's manager. He, she owns the managerial rights to Ripper Savage. And she's not here at work here today. And Austin Idol claiming... That he hims, he's, he's knocked her up. She's not going to be here for a while. Alright, moving on from that, we have our tag team matchup, which gets a 35E plus rating. And a decent matchup. Austin Idol and George Holtz defeat Ripper Savage in the Marvelous Morocco in 12 minutes, 33 seconds. After Ripper Savage got disqualified after going into a rage, refusing to stop assaulting Austin Idol. Ripper is taking all his aggressions out on Austin Idol here tonight. Idol was off his game. George Holtz really off his game here tonight. Match did get the crowd hotter, though. George Holtz has an in-ring performance of a 30. Austin Idol with a 29. Morocco, 32. Ripper Savage with a 37, the best of the matchup. Also, Ripper and Austin Idol improving in their performance. You love to see it. And then after the match is over, the beatdown continues. 39D minus rating here as Ripper Savage and the Marvelous Morocco because Morocco, well, I, I don't really like, I wouldn't say him and George Holtz have bad heat. I mean, Holtz definitely doesn't like Morocco. Morocco looks at Holtz as kind of like a stepping stone in the company. So uh, Holtz trying to keep Ripper Savage off of Austin Idol. Morocco's not going to have that. He has Ripper's back here tonight. He's going after Holtz. We got a little bit of a beat down here as Savage and Morocco are beating down on Holtz and Idol until, of course, they are pulled apart by our uh, our road agents in the back here. Gained heat for both the storylines, though, so you love to see that. 39D minus. Good stuff. And it is main event time. The regional championship is on the line. 37D minus rating. And a decent matchup. Dino Bravo retains the championship over Baron Von Heisinger in 16 minutes, 29 seconds with a running power slam. Carl Von Schatz did try to uh, help out Baron Von Heisinger here, running in and distracting Dino Bravo many times throughout the match, but it wasn't enough as Bravo is able to put away Baron Von Heisinger and make his second defense of the IWC Regional Championship. Heisinger was exhausted by the end of the match. That's unfortunate for him. Seems like he can't go that long. Uh, Von Schatz did some good work ringside. Dino Bravo visibly tired him toward the match, so... Uh, I guess 16 minutes is a bit long for our guys, which is kind of crazy because usually back in this time they're known for, I guess, going long and stuff like that, but whatever. Uh, Baron Von Heisinger with an in-ring performance of a 26. Dino Bravo with a 38. No worker improvements. And our next segment, what's this? Uh, Baron, okay, yes, the length of this one, we, we know. But not Dino Bravo, just Baron Von Heisinger, interesting. Uh, 41 solid D rating as we end off the night with a stare down this time between Dino Bravo and Carl Von Schatz as Von Schatz seems to step up if Baron Von Heisinger cannot get the job done Von Schatz is going to step up and it looks like we now know who Dino Bravo's next challenger for the regional championship will be and it's going to be this evil bastard Carl Von Schatz. And that's going to be the end of the show here as uh, we get a little bit of a pull apart here before anything goes down. 41 solid D as we end off the show. Of course, uh, we I gotta, I'm going to make a little note here for myself. Take Baron off of Carl. Take Baron off of Carl. Carl! Anyway, 
And uh, no worker improvements. We end off the show. We get ourselves a 37 D minus rating here, increasing our popularity in one region. The region that matters, at least, as we try to get ourselves down to a small company, I believe it is. So let's go ahead. We're going to make a speech here. And then we're going to end off this video as always. But who do I want to give the speech to? I'm thinking, who had the best match? 42, 30. Well, that's that's not a match, though, that 42 in the beginning. Uh, 35. So Bravo and Von Heisinger did have the best match. To I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um... Yeah, we're gonna we'll compliment both Baron and Dino on a good performance, and then we'll give Carl Von Schott some encouragement for his uh, upcoming match. Bravo was happy. Von Heisinger seemed pleased. Von Schott seemed pleased, and uh, that's gonna be the end of the video because if I click this, it's gonna move us along to the next screen. And as I'm sure you guys all by know by now, I believe that's what lags this out. And if it doesn't lag it out, then something else lags it out. So. I'm going to mute the mic here. That's going to be the end of the video here. So there's nothing at the very end. So if you if you choose the wait, that's on you. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to try to get more of these local to globals out as I book the uh, Nitro and TNA um, episodes as well. In the meantime, I'm going to try to get more of these local to globals out because they're a little quicker to book and easier to book as well, along with recording. So uh, until then, thank you for watching. My name's been OMG, WTF, Level to WBRB. And I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, don't forget to share this video with your friends, your Facebooks, your Twitters, your Instagrams. I don't give a damn. Anyone you feel would enjoy my content, give them a share. Help your homeboy get some new subscribers. Up in this bitch. As always, my name's been OMG WTFO to WBRB. I think I've said that already. But anyway, you guys have yourselves a great day.